I Google play Justin Bieber's new album. I keep thinking this is a headset because I work at oh God, it's gonna be so annoying. Because I work at a kind of a call center. On another note, look at me now. If you're interested on how I did it, myself, I did it all myself. I did not pay $40 for somebody to do it for me. Let me know. I will actually do a YouTube tutorial on how I do my nails, but it will have to be in like two weeks because these jumps are just done. And no, I did not do them for Valentine's Day. I actually did not know I was, they were looking like this, that they're like Valentine kind of theme until I was doing it. And I was doing it Valentine's Day night by myself watching the circle. Let me tell you guys, a lot of good, good, good music dropped this past week. My beautiful friend came out with his second single. Let me tell you, these singles are like hard. You know, they go through a lot, they got mix, and they got spend, it spends, I mean, it's costing them the money to do these things. So <clears throat> I want to give a shout out to David Dennis. Please, please, please. His album's open to you, David Dennis. We love some David. We love us some David Dennis. Yeah, just click on open to you, and that will start playing in your Spotify. Spotify's my favorite. Um, another thing I want to say before starting with the YouTube video today is that I feel like my niche would be music on YouTube, but it's really hard when copyright is involved and I get it, you know, people need to get credit for their work. I'm like, yes. Um, and I love music a lot. And so I haven't been able to find a way to weave music in, like mainstream music, weave music in to my everyday, um, on YouTube, on my every week on YouTube. But I was thinking of different ways on how to at least weave in what I think about new albums coming out. So, with that being said, I found a good way. And it's called, listen, 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 everybody calm down. Interactive reaction video. So, I need your help okay i need your help because if i don't get your help this is not gonna work okay <laughs> so since you can't play music on a video on youtube well you can but you have to have copyright this song just came out two days ago so there's no indication that this music at if any way that justin would be okay with it is verified to play on YouTube. Okay, so what I'm going to do is play a song on my phone. And I'm going to tell you when I press play, I would have a countdown. And I'm going to play it with my headphones on. Now, here's the thing. You might be in a spot where you're in your car listening to this, or you might be at work listening to this. I get it. But as the song gets older, you'll know exactly what I'm talking about if you can't get to the headphones and all that stuff. But if you are just happen to be at home on the toilet or even with your headphones on, go ahead and go to Spotify or wherever your favorite playlist is. Go to the song for me and I haven't told you what song it is. First of all, I haven't told you what it is. Um, so I am hanging out with Justin Bieber. And the Changes album just came out this Friday, and I am loving it. I did not know I was going to love this album so much, but I am. And I don't know. He just, you know, he took this long break. If you know Justin Bieber and have followed him, he took this long break to find himself and to find God and to find his marriage and everything. And it's been 
wonderful. And I knew that like once he comes back, it's it's going to be this like it's going to be insane. Like it's going to be legit music. And yeah, so came back with this album called Changes and absolutely love it. So I went through and I listened to some of the songs or a lot of the songs all weekend and I had randomly pushed on Intentions and I was like this song is lit like all of them are pretty good right so go ahead and put on your headphones sorry it took forever to find out my name I'm probably gonna be screaming a little bit because I have headphones on and I'm trying to talk so the first song we're gonna listen to is Intentions okay Intentions ready Three, two, one, press. I like this. Like, he is really uplifting his, you know, I'm thinking it's his wife. Um, he really enjoys um, showing her that she is something that is valuable to him. And you can keep one ear off so you can hear yourself in, in this video. <laughs> I really, I just really like this song because he's really uplifting to his wife. And, you know, to all the women out there, like, you don't need filters, you don't need likes, um, that this is something that <clears throat> is the, the, you know, not the limit, but like, these are his expectations of her. It's not something picture perfect. Okay, we're going to pause right here. Yeah, overall, it's just... I mean, this song ties in a lot to the album. If you've heard the whole album or not, um, I really feel like this is one of the bigger songs on the album. Like, the more popular... This will be more the popular songs on the album because he is just so uplifting to, I'm guessing, his wife and everything. You know, he's just loving on his, like, wife, like... You know, girl, you got that yummy. Like, you are, like, amazing. You're everything. you just uplifting. And, like, that is so cool to hear because, like, so many male artists are all about, you know, drop it low, girl. Like, get all the, you know, get down. And it's just, like, it's not encouraging that uplifting to the woman. Um, There's a song, Take It Out On Me. Three, two, one, press. And I also like how the album, like the mix is just so good. <clears throat> and also, like I listened to this song before coming on here, so I have a little bit more of an understanding of it, but he's just expressing like, hey, like, you know, stuff might happen you know, throughout the day or with your family, but I'm here for you and that, like, if you need time to process or you need someone to, like, kind of process too, I'm here to help you out. And that is, uh, like, I, I know, like, he has, you know, knowing where he's at in life, he has a wife and everything, but, like, that is so missing out in the world of offering them, you know, you, like, Someone offering themselves to be that that person that you can lie on or vent to. And <clears throat> so missing in the world. So, like, hearing that, like, is really, really cool. It's so encouraging throughout the whole thing. Okay, we're going to stop that one. And then I guess we can do one more. Okay, so I heard a little bit of ETA, but I don't know really anything about it. So let's go ahead and do that one. And we will start it. ETA. We will start it at three, two, 
long play. <clears throat> okay, I know what it is. Well, kind of. Okay, it sounds like he, like, she, I mean, she could have been on a business trip um, or something, and he just really misses her and wants her to be back, and that the time is going by way too slow, and that he just needs her with him. And, I mean, that's, I don't know, a normal love song? But I love the creativity, like, hey, what's your ETA? When are you going to be back home? Because I need you. And that is sweet. <clears throat> and I'm pause it right there. And I also noticed that these songs are a little shorter than a normal song. Like, ETA has been two minutes. Take It Out On Me was like two and a half minutes. Um, but there's a lot of songs on this album. But, like, all of them have this heavy, like, beat. And they're just, like, almost a romantic... It's funny, it's like, it's a romantic album, actually. And it's funny that he released it on Valentine's Day. Um, but it's just a really good, like, it's like this, uh, don't hate me, I might say R&B. That's what I'm getting out of this album so far. But this is definitely an album that I will see myself listening to, driving down the road on a sunny day with the windows down. Um, my next summer album, you know, last year, if you know me, Khaled was my summer album. It's an album that will take you straight to the beach and you're looking at the waves and feeling the breeze. Khaled's, um, Free Spirit album is the album from last year. Now this year, I feel like Justin Bieber's, um, new album changes will be, um, the album for my summer and thank you so much for watching if you like what you see go ahead and click subscribe <laughs> um and if you like what i did today and want more of these for different music please go ahead and tell me and i will listen research and i will come to you with a sense um i don't know what i'll come to you with but i'm gonna come with you with what i think of it with facts so anyways, <laughs> thank you guys so much for watching again, um, and peace. See you guys later.